Hi, Caroline Carney here at Palais Arts, and I am sitting with the incomparable Nancy L. Hardy in front of her piece, which will be in our It Is Written show, which will run from September 7th through October 29th with a special preview at the Collingswood Art and Crafts Festival on August 19th and 20th, which is such a mouthful to say. Go there. Uh, go there. <laughs> special preview. Um, could, Nancy, could you introduce us to your piece? Sure. Um, you know, I have a couple of these, um, well, I have a lot of string creatures, is what I call them, mm -hmm. um, by laying the string on the jelly plate. Yeah, you're a jelly plate Yeah. Lady. Oh, I, ah, you know. Um, so, I made this, and I could see a nose along the Modigliani kind of long neck, mm -hmm. and I always love to have, like, the big bouffant hair. <laughs> and so when I'm taking the prints, you know, some of the stuff stays on the jelly plate, so mm -hmm. then it, it informs the next one. So for this one, I was making it for a library show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, maybe I should put some, some women in there, you know. Yeah. So, um, so I just took all of the famous um, women that I know who have written things, uh, Jane Austen being my absolute favorite. Same. Yeah. And um, they're all very inspirational. Um, I share a birthday with Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Very and, romantic. I know. And, um, you know, so I just thought, I, a one that looked like this, I had sea creatures in her hair mm -hmm. and jellyfish, you know, like, because that's what it all looked like. But here I went in and I, I went in with, um, I believe it was this the billow crayons or okay. things like that. But I saw these like little spots and I went, oh, I think she's wearing pearls. And then I'm like, oh, she's wearing pearls the book club. <laughs> Which is such a great title. Um, and what I, one of the things I love about this is that um, it also tells a story of, it tells a story of all of these authors that she's inspired by, but it also tells a story of who she is and what she's thinking. Yes. So it's a narrative on several levels, which is nice. Uh, you have a reference to the classic literature, but you also have all of these thoughts that are going on in her head that inform the story of who she is and yes. how she moves through the world. And then on top of that, she's wearing pearls to book club. So uh, I really love that um, kind of uh, multiple. This show has a lot of work that has multiple levels to the way that you're telling stories. Yes. Um, I know you said that uh, you were thinking of like Modigliani yeah. uh, and the extended neck and all of those things. Uh, when you approach, we talked in a previous video about how you actually do the technical aspect of um, like putting the Turn jelly down and stuff, yeah. um, the, the string down on the jelly, like to yeah. do the jelly plate. Um, I'm interested in how you think of composition when you're laying the string. I'm not. At all? So you, did you not. think of the Modigliani as you were doing it or did you think so, well, of it as it developed? Well, as I pulled the first, so there's paint on the jelly plate, and then I dropped that um, mm -hmm. string on it, and I just kind of do it haphazardly, but I make sure that there are no, like, weird, like, string things that are just, like, sticking, like, in weird yeah, places. Yeah, things that make weird Or things lines. that go off to, like, the corners. So I do, I do do that, but I usually just let it go, and then I pull a print on wax paper. Mm -hmm. So that takes... Oh, to test it. No, no. Oh. What that does is it takes... It's like a resist. So it takes up all of the paint, except for the, where the lines were. So oh. it's usually a double line, and you'll see, like, the string line in between. But this one, I felt like I needed to color it in with white um, all the way to kind of make it look a little more um, sophisticated for this woman. Um, because she is a sophisticated woman who's oh, wearing girls is. to book club, and she's thinking about all of these yes. famous, strong, feminine authors. Absolutely. So, yes. 
and I have a I have a group of friends, and they all read books, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, you have to read this. And yeah, I'm like, I do not have the attention span. So my friend Laura, who wants on her gravestone to say that like I've read you know so many books, <laughs> um, and so I thought of her. She has red hair, but the pink um, kind of stood out. I, I love thought, that. Yeah, I thought it was a nice comp. I love that it's company. it's semi semi biographical. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I did think of her, and I thought I know if I show these girls. That read. Oh, she wore pearls. Club. Like, yeah, yeah, like this is life goals. Yeah, like, I'm so together. I read all these books, and yeah. I even look how together I am okay. at book club. Yeah, I mean, come <laughs> on, you know, my makeup's good. I threw on shorts and a t-shirt today and called <laughs> right. it a day. Right. So exactly. <laughs> I mean, I really thought I really I really uh, uh, curated this look. Is what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> this look today. <laughs> um, no, I love this piece. I uh, One of the things I really love about your work is it has, probably because of the intuitiveness of it, it has this strong sense of whimsy, and even within your artist statement and the way that you speak about your art, um, you talk about joy and finding the joy and the humor in things, which right. you can, if you can't like look at this and get a little smile, the, your other piece is called Oh No, Not the Bow. And uh, it's of what I assume is a littlish girl who has a bow in her hair. It's it's a mom battle I used to have oh, all yeah. the time as 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 me being a child. Yeah, um, of course, and, and being yeah. non-conforming to what coiffed hair should look like. Oh which yeah, I think is why a lot of my I mean if you you know the royal bird. Yeah, um, a lot of my work has this big poofy hair stuff because. Yeah. That's how I remember my mom back in the, you know. Well, and also, it's such a, like, your work is a commentary on these, like, everyday experiences that we all have that kind of talks about, mm -hmm. like, um, what the experience of, like, growing up and being, like, pushed into social norms is. Yes. And then you find the humor in that, which right. I really love about it. So, yeah. uh, the color is amazing, the topic amazing, the Modigliani amazing, <laughs> uh, the pearls amazing. We hope you'll come see Nancy's amazing work uh, in our It Is Written show from now through October 29th. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you.